Lamborghini doesn't get enough credit for its recent cars. That's nowhere more evident than with the Huracan Performante, which is without fail not only the best Lambo ever made, but also the best car in its class. By far, with every car that goes through our garage in Brisbane, there is an audio recording yours truly makes while driving that helps me remember all the bits that were loved and disliked about a particular car, so that when it comes to writing it up at a later date, it feels fresh and accurate. With the Performante, the rather short recording was just a lot of F-words. Right at this very moment, you can stroll into a Lamborghini merchant and request a car that opposes all that we've come to know as conceivable from a road legitimate supercar. It has not just crushed the bar with regards to dynamic competency, it has raised it so high that it will enthusiasm to check whether Ferrari can coordinate it with its special variant of the 488 expected in the following year. The rudiments of the powertrain are practically the same as the standard car, yet with an additional 22 kilowatts from the 5.2-liter V10, which is worked by Audi, that has been around fit as a fiddle or frame since the Gallardo. That actually makes the Performante ALP 640-4, yet officially it's simply Performante. The refreshed fumes framework makes a capable of being heard experience more likened to a GT3 race car than a Huracan. It's definitely boisterous in all the correct ways. You can't remove this kind of oral delight from any crossbreed or turbocharged engine. Express gratitude toward Lambo for staying with this normally suctioned V10 engine for that tad longer. Be that as it may, even without turbos or electric engines to help, it will go from 0 to 100 km per hour in only 2.9 seconds, a great 300 milliseconds speedier than the standard Huracan and furthermore quicker than the twin-turbo Ferrari 488 and matches the McLaren 720S. That change in speeding up is expected to an enhanced AWD framework that sees the Performante drive more energy to the front for takeoff than previously. Lamborghini crushed the Nürburgring lap record with the Performante when the car was discharged a year ago. It was hence beaten by the Porsche 911 GT2 RS which is no less than a decent $175,000 more costly, yet it remains not just faster than anything Ferrari or McLaren has ever tossed around the ring, but at the same time it's the quickest normally suctioned car to have at any point graced the green hellfire. A considerable measure of that needs to do with Lambo's licensed Gala framework, a progression of dynamic streamlined frameworks both at the front and back of the vehicle, which open and close unique vents that adjust the wind current for significantly enhanced cornering hold. Contrasted with the standard Huracan, the Performante has a stunning 750 for every penny more downforce than that car. In any case, it's not simply straight downforce, it's really air vectoring, with the back wing ready to close either the left or right air channels to create 50 newton meters of torque that helps turn the car. For instance, in case you're turning left, the correct side of the wing permits wind current and the left side close to make air protection. Not too unique to how planes work noticeable all around. The front lip likewise shuts its wind current channel to drive the nose of the car down for better front grasp into corners. Obviously, you have to really track the car to receive the most in return. Something we particularly delighted in doing at the Performante's Worldwide Dispatch in Amola mid a year ago. In any case, here in the to a great degree sweltering states of Mount Nebo and glorious offered up by Brisbane's late spring, the Lord of the Huracan Go lived up to our desires, as well as smashed them to pieces. We have tried the standard Huracan, the back-wheel drive Huracan, the Ferrari 488 and a lot of McLarens and different supercars on the exceptionally same road, and to be superbly reasonable, the Performante is the new ruler. It does things that appear to be incomprehensible, it holds where there is no grasp, and it quickens out of corners with such fierceness and control that you begin trusting it's really you and not the car. There are even minutes that you may think about whether you missed your bringing an F1. Unfortunately, for you and me, this is all the splendor of Lambo's engineers. This car is as near powerful flawlessness as we have ever experienced. It shows minor clues of understeer at the very furthest reaches of its hold, yet by then it's more driver blunder than the car. The dynamic air doesn't work at moderate rates, obviously. What's more, it's difficult to state the amount of an impact it has when driving with energy on the rocky roads that we tried it on, yet it's on an unheard of level of brilliance, in any case. It's imperative to take note of that up until around 7 or 8 tenths, the Performante isn't too unique to drive than the standard Huracan. It's the point at which you begin pushing the distance to 10 tenths that the Performante transforms into the Diablo himself, while the standard car transforms into a load of understeering mess. 
In that sense, the two cars are completely different. The Performante is significantly nearer to the Audi R8 V10 Plus in its driving feel than the general Huracan. Circumventing corners level out in the Performante is an ordeal that each car cherishing aficionado should feel once in their life. Every little thing about it is brutally magnificent, from the gear shifts to the discretionary dynamic directing framework, which you truly require, the seats, the super uncommon Pirelli tires, the brakes, the normally suctioned V10 engine, everything. It's the entire bundle. As far as ride comfort and having the capacity to utilize this as a day by day, we would contend that you truly shouldn't on the grounds that each kilometer spent in this ought to be a 10 tenths for most extreme satisfaction. In any case, keep it in strata, road, mode and it's really submissive, well, as resigned as something that resembles an Apache helicopter can be, and effortlessly sensible as a day by day, on account of its sensibly smooth ride offered up by the discretionary attractive suspension. We prescribe you choice the lift unit, which is annoyingly not standard in this car like the customary Huracan, that helps raise the nose at whatever point required. A straightforward change to Casa, race, will set the car up for most extreme assault. The Performante might not have the get impact of the Aventador's incredible road nearness, however despite everything it blows some people's minds, if not only for its hyper-forceful position, which, as Lambo is quick to call attention to, isn't an alternative, helped along by that monster ray's wing and the Italian banner exquisitely painted on the car's sides. Our specific test car was optioned with the super extraordinary Grigio Titans matte shading at an astounding $21,600, with another $8,100 forked out for the Loge Fashion 20 inch edges with dark focal locking. Discussing which, as you may see from the photographs, every one of the four of the Lambo Focus wheel tops dropped out amid our drive, with some sort of fluid sizzling out of the focal bolt, pushing the tops free. We were surely stretching it as far as possible and the climate wasn't making a difference. In the event that we needed to blame the car, it would be for the most part about the crazy alternatives list reported at the base of the survey, and the inside, which despite the fact that it has been enhanced with a substantially higher quality show than previously, and in addition Apple CarPlay, is as yet bundled with some wobbly switch gear that tends to feel a touch of disappointing after some time. Regardless, whatever you may consider Lamborghini are the individuals who get them, there is no denying the Huracan Performante is at the exceptionally best of its class for brilliant progression and plan and character that will see it turn into a future great. Whenever pundits and fans alike think in 20 to 30 years and think about the most perfect and last of the normally suctioned supercars, this will be it.